Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and this is your Bar Fusion Workout. We're going to be combining elements of bar, Pilates, yoga to strengthen, lengthen, tone, sculpt your arms, your legs, your core and your glutes. Equipment today is a chair, mat and light weights. I'm going to be anywhere between 3 to 5 pounds. There are 25 moves today, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of transition and no repeat. And if you're new to this channel, welcome, and make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any new workouts. Go ahead and start in second position. You have heels and toes turned out. Roll the shoulders back. Come down in a little bit of that plie. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Big inhale, reach up. Let it go. One more time, reach up. We're gonna to start to reach right, left, over that head. Here we go, reach. Across the body for four. Take it back up. Cross the body here. Lateral lunges to the left, to the right. Start to shift, you can move your feet. You can add some arms, but keep the length of your spine. You got eight more. Lifted here. Step it in. Squat. Reach as you squat. There we go. Feet about shoulder width or more narrow. Four more. Draw the abs up and in as you squat. We have a flat and round back happening. Hands on the thighs. Flat back and round. Flat and round. Tuck under. Use your breath here. You got four more. Dramatic, right? Step a little bit out. Shake your hips side to side. Shake. All right, how are you shaking those, Catherine? We're gonna circle one way. Four. Circle the other way. Shake those hips. All right, take it out to second. Sweep it down. Up, big arms. Watch your chair, though. roll the back. Switch this. Grow a little taller. You're going to march. Pull it down. And give me the length. Always lengthening out. Eight more. Plant your feet. You're going to punch it here. Punch. To the corners. Feels good on that spine. you do. So we're going to be in second position. Start in that squat. Tap and alternate pressing up for four and then we punch for four. Here we go. Drop, tap, lift. Across the body. Tap. Reach it up. Bring it across. Take it up, down, lift, so really grow nice and tall. Across, pull the belly up and in, take it up. Pointing that toe as you tap it in. Lengthen that leg, reach it up. Take it out. Take it up. Stay in second. Reach the arms out here. 
we're gonna go under and up. Just that right arm. Take it under, under and up. So here's my leg options. I can do one squat or I can do two. What do you wanna do? I kinda like two. You, what do you like? You can stay single, Catherine. Drop down. Now your other arm is working too. It's just holding that weight. Chest up, eyes up. Pull the belly button in. Switch it. Under, over. Woo! Remember that option. Maybe get a little lower. Here we go. Chin up. 10 seconds to go. I'm gonna be grabbing one heavier dumbbell and just that's all that we need is one weight. You're gonna be using that chair. One weight. Outside hand away from the chair. First position, heels in, toes out. Lift the heels, walk them in. Shoulders here, we squat down. And give me a little curl. Curl. How low do you go? Depends on your body. You wanna to try to get to about to knee height. Zip up to the top. Can you squeeze your thighs at the top here? All the way up. Are you zipping up? Don't hinge forward, you're nice and tall. Woo, zip it up. All right, you're gonna hold halfway. Right here, little bit of movements here. Drop, drop, chin up. Squeeze your heels together. What's going on with your other arm? It's on the bar, it's pushing the shoulder blade down. 10 seconds. Chin up. There we go, burn it up. Three seconds. All right, that hand stays there. We're gonna take that leg back. You're gonna connect and row. So drop the chest forward over your thigh. Connect and row. So I'm gonna tap the back of my foot here. Pull the elbow back. Lengthen that spine. Come on, pull. Right now, give me warrior three. So lift the back leg, elbows up, kickbacks. An option is to releve, lifting that standing heel and really lifting that back leg up. Point your toe. Hold the belly in. Woo, come on. Press it back. Doing amazing here. No weight. Side crunched. Feet parallel. Tap the toe out. Crunch. Lift. Crunch. Lift. Here we go. Crunch. Lift. As you lift your leg, try to stay nice and tall. You're going to lean a little bit into that chair, but gentle. Tap your toe down. Come on. Lengthen as you bend to that side. Hold it up. Little lifts here. Lift. Take it to a lunge and then swing it to the front. Lunge, swing. Bend and swing. It can even be a curtsy if that feels good to you. Relax, bring the bar to the other side or your chair to the other side. You gotta be fast. Woo! Grab your heavier weight if you want it. Now, this time, thighs together. Heels up. Bend your knees and drop. So now we're gonna squeeze your inner thighs together. Chin up. Yeah. Shoulders down. Glue your legs together here. Then you can go low. All right, just a couple more here, and then we're gonna find that middle range. Come down and hold. Keep your thighs together. Drop. And lengthen up through the spinal cord. Push the hand down in that chair. My chair's a little wobbly over here. <laughs> I might be a little wobbly though. Belly button in. Remember that lunge. With that row, it's coming up. With that connector. All right, so switch the legs. Turn. 
Lunge connect right here. Lunge connect. You're ready to go. Just wait. Long spine. Pull it in. Pull. The further away the arm is, the harder it will be in the arm. And then leg. The lower you go, the more flex you use. Chin up. Great job. All right. Find warrior three. Lift the back leg. Elbow in. to releve, lift the heel, use your toes, and then extending that top leg, keep your elbow by your rib, chin off the chest, push, relax your shoulders, remember the next movement it has no weight, side, crunch, and a leg lift, feet, Here we go. Side, lift. And again, keep the length in that side bend. Having the ear, hand by your ears, just gives you more weight. We want to strengthen, we want to sculpt the tone. Leave it up, right here. Delicious stuff. Lunge. Lunge. Swing. Kind of gives you a little relief there. All right, we're going to move our chair to the other side. We're coming on all four. And my right leg, my real right leg, is going to have a dumbbell behind it. I'm on my forearms. I'm going to start to point the toe, squeeze the weight, lift that leg up to the sky, bend knee, and that's okay. We don't have to do the full 50 seconds. Just come into when you can. Shoulders down. Now, see if you can come up onto your hands here. Keep this moving. If you want to add some more, right, you dig your left toes to the ground. going. You don't have to. You can keep that knee on the ground. Ten seconds. Woo. All right, knee down. Keep that weight there. That knee lifts up about three-fourths of the weight and a little bit out to the side, and we're going to start to circle. You got to kind of grip that dumbbell. So circle that weight. Go back to your elbows. Go back to your elbows. So if that feels better to you, I like the hands. See, it's always good to try it. There is no wrong position, but you should feel some heat. Switch that direction in the outer hip a little bit. Push back into your sitting knee. That knee that you're. Keep your core tight, pull up and in. Woo, three seconds, got the heat. Turn on your side, grab the weight out of that knee. Clam on that top leg. With an overhead extension, lift the hip up. I open, close. Bending that arm behind the head. Opening and closing, so internal external rotation here. You can always drop your hip. You have that option here. Lots of stuff is definitely going on. Huh. Now hold the weight up. Side plank hold. Thread under. Reach up. Thread under. Keep this rhythm. Hold it. Thread under. You can always drop the bottom knee. Thread under. Open up. Relax. All right, we're going to come to the other side. Woo! Swing the legs around. Dumbbell 
goes behind this my left elbows squeeze and lift up all right so check your body out here is everything looking good all right Catherine said it looks good always check the shorts in the in the bra now here's your option coming onto your hands you ready for that challenge? Shoulders down, dig your toes, you can lift it up. Or settle down. Hug that heel in, squeeze that dumbbell. circle so I like my hands under the shoulders knees under the hips leg is lifted and out tiny bit away start to circle one direction press into your hands spread your fingers relax your shoulders Direction. Switch it. Keep your chin up. Raise your core even more. Drawing that circle with your knee. Oh yeah. Remember, clam will be coming up here in five seconds. Forearm plank, overhead extension. You can lift the hip or not. We're going to go into dropping the dumbbell behind the head. Here we go. Drop, open. Now there's something magical about moving to the beat. Don't you agree? I feel like I can work harder when I'm on the beat. It's like an experience versus a workout. Yeah. to call these movement right versus exercise because then you don't feel like you're working out right we're having just some fun here hold it up right side plank thread through and open thread through open it up take it through again now we have a break coming up here All right, relax. Now you have 30 seconds, so do me a favor. Get a quick sip of water, and then we're coming back. So 30 seconds starts right now. Ooh, so we are over halfway there, you guys. So this is core section here. your back. I'm gonna go elbow pull right here. One, two, to the back. Here it goes. Elbow and reach. So tuck your tailbone under and keep your chest lifted. You're kind of coming down halfway. Chest is up. So a little chest fly with the obliques here. Chin up. Make this a single to the back to the front. Let's go. Drop and lift. One more to the back. All right, you guys. So we're going to be down on the ground here. Come up here. I kick. It's like you're doing a little hammer curl, extending the leg. So you get a little thigh work with your core here.
chin, relax it, drop that chin down a little bit here. Keep it rocking, come on, lift it up. Breathe, exhale. Ooh. We got 10 seconds. Really extend your leg up. And then we're gonna be flipping for mountain climbers. Woo! I'm gonna put my waist to the front. Step my legs back with the plank. You can determine how fast you wanna go into your mountain climber. Take the legs back. So you can start slow. You can start slow or you can start to pick up the tempo. I'm gonna go up. 50 seconds. Yes, can feel like forever. Heels of the hands. Come on. You got this. Yeah. Hey, you got 10 seconds. Down dog. Walk it back to your feet. You're going to do a little walkout. So we're going to start like in a crouch. You're going to walk out, push up, walk it back. Go at your pace. I'm staying in a squat when I come back. start to releve and then when you have it lift that standing heel up you have a little bit of a turn out because you're in that first position right shoulders down abs in if you bend your standing leg a little bit more lengthen through the crown of the head 
even more. Circle that leg, big toe, eight. Don't sink, come on. Reverse it, eight. Just give me those little lifts, here we go. Tuck under. your light weights. Second position here. Right here, I squat down. Squat, sweep, bring it across. Or I can do both arms. I like one arm. Drop, reach. You can point the toe, sweeping it in. I like to move in all different directions here. Sumo, hold, just pulse. Pull the shoulders back, chest is up. And then in the break, we're gonna hold. I'm gonna add one additional movement. So just hold. Oh, good job, I had a pause there, right? Lift your chest up here. Heels, alternate them. Right now, let's go. You can add some arms here. Little hammers. Now sink a little bit more. But lift your chin up and your spine up. Both heels up, hold it. And if you need your bar, Hold my heels up. Now I'm just gonna start to drop. Small. Yeah. Keep moving. Hello, right? Oh. Hold it. Forearm plank. Beautiful. All right, come on to that forearms. We have four knee drops. You're gonna alternate right, left, right, left. And then two hip lifts. Drop the knees, let's go. One, two, three, four, up, up, drop. So running the knees and then pulling the hips up. It's like, it's like a little tuck, under, under. Knees, tuck. Or you can just hold and drop one knee and then the other knee. Run it, tuck it. Good for that low back. Relax your shoulders. All right, your knees down. We got a plank. You're gonna bring that right knee into the elbow twice. walking my feet back into plank, walking them forward into that squat. Bend your knees, drop your hips down. This is gonna help loosen him up. And you're trying to make sure you alternate the legs 
Step those feet in. Roll yourself up. Grab that right wrist. Up and over. So push the hips to me. Let's stretch it out. Switch that arm. Reach it up. Bar is a great way to fine tune your body. Man, we were sweating. It was a little hot out here today. Woo. Release here. All right. Using your chair, figure four. Cross it over. I'm going to have to hold on to mine because it might slip right off. Now, shoulders drop. Maybe you drop a little bit more. Hamstring, other leg. Toe up, flat back. Again, you can reach the arms on the chair. four on the other leg. Cross it over. Woo, my leg's going to slip right off of here. Relax the shoulders. And then hamstring. You did amazing. Thanks, Catherine, for coming over. Oh, it's nighttime here. Reach it up. Bring it down into your heart, behind your head. Open the chest up. One more time. A little gratitude. What are you grateful for today? Pull it down. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I feel amazing. How about you? So I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you do follow me. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. So I do the stories. I just see some behind the scenes. You have an awesome day, and we'll see you back here on the mat. Take care.
care. Ooh, thanks, Catherine.